Hi guys, this is Yasin from Excel Electricians. Today I'll be showing you how to install the outdoor sockets from start to finish. I will show you a few tools what you're going to need uh, for you to install the socket. What we got here, we got SDS 10mm um, drill bit, SDS drill, um, cutters, a few uh, screwdrivers, of course the outside sockets and then silicon and the level to make sure our sockets is nice and level and a few screws okay if you want to come around with me let me show you where we're going to take a power out to the sockets right there we've got internal sockets uh, right here um, just right here what we're going to do we're going to drill through the back box right there and then we're going to come out on the outside of the wall. Uh, let me show you how we're going to do that. That's 10 mil. I'm going to try to do a really small hole for the cable to go through. From here, and always what I do, I drill an angle just for the water not to come in into the property. slowing down at the moment because I know I am nearly outside to, to the to the outside wall I don't want the bricks to blow so I'm taking it easy to come out nice and slow as you can see from here if you look on the outside just right outside That's the whole done. What we got is I'm using here the high tough cable. That way I don't have to use um, a conduit through. This is a protected um, cable and uh, that way I don't have to make a bigger hole a 16 mil. I can use only 10 mil and put this through. Let's have a look. We managed to get our cable through. Okay, on this side, and uh, let me show you on the other side. We've got the cable through from this side here, and then what we need to do because we uh, the back box, what we got there is metal, we need to put a grommet where the cable is going through. Let me just show you a grommet one of these here. I'll show you how to put these in. We put this cable, we put this grommet through the cable into the back box there. As you can see, right like that, just to make sure the, the box doesn't cut the cable when there is a bit of movement. And that's in, push that slightly in, just to get our grommet in. And see, that's there. Then we have enough cable to go into the box. Now, let's show you how how we're gonna install the sockets outside. We got this socket here, external, EG external sockets. We got this socket here. What we're gonna do? We're gonna drill the hole there and put a socket right through there and that way all this will be nicely covered and it will have external socket. But we're going to make a hole now at the back of this box for the cable to go through. Try not to make a bigger hole just for the cable to go through. And, uh, Perfect for this. As you can see, the cable comes through nicely. Just like that. I'm gonna make another four holes for the screws to go in. Right, we've got our four holes where we can secure the box. 
what are we gonna do? We're gonna get a get of silicon and we fill in the hole at the back there. Just for the water not to go through. Can seal the property. Not just for the water and then bugs or any type of things to go into the property. It's all sealed. And let's walk up for this holes here. Usually what I'll do, I'll get the box like that, get my six mil drill bit and then I'll mark up the first one. Got my first one in, roll plug, put that in there. One of these screws. Now we put our level. Make sure socket mass are level. Because always I'll do this side first before we connect the power deck on the other side. We make sure it's all connected done nicely here before we do the other side. Make sure again you socket is level, nice and level. Alright, we just stripped our cables now. I'm gonna add a bit more silicon here just to seal this completely. You can see from here. Uh, we've got our neutral terminal right there and a live terminal here and the earth terminal is right there we've got our three wires this is live wire the brown wire and the blue wire is neutral and the yellow and green is earth these two Thing what I'm gonna do, I would connect the other side of the socket, make sure they're on to the socket outside, um, and then we will test the sockets to make sure it will work. We're just gonna connect the outside socket to the existing uh, socket, and of course we have isolated the supply um, before working on the electrics. Now I'm gonna put the live wire with the live wire there and the neutral wire goes to the neutral terminal and earth wire it's really important 
it goes to go with the same earth wires. Earth wire is really important to a lot of people. Uh, sometimes we go in and we find the earth wire has been disconnected. It's not been connected at all to the to the socket. That is very important. It's a, a safety conductor. If there is any issue with the socket that what trips the circuit breaker. That's why it has to be connected properly. Of course, you make sure all the cables are connected nicely. Nothing is coming out. Okay, that's all connected. I will just tidy up here and put the socket back and re-energize again and we test the socket outside and hopefully we're done for a day. One more important thing I forgot to do when you're installing one of these sockets, you have to make sure you drill a hole in the back box at the back for the water if it goes in you find a way out from the socket but right, let me show you what you've got to do as you can see when you come here if you see that bit there that's what the manufacturers they tell you to do is drilling small hole in this section there then if there is any water will come in through this box you find a way out instead of getting trapped inside the socket I'm going to turn the power back on we'll test the socket and we're done for the, for the day. We're going to test now our existing sockets. Make sure all correct, which is it's showing all correctly connected. Now we're going to go outside and we'll do exactly the same. Stand the socket. That's all nicely working. all done it's very easy and simple anyone could do it and if you're not really confident to do it just make sure you get professionals to do it thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time thank you